What is a sign of a real true friend? Real friends talk shit to your face and say nice things about you behind your back. They're there for you even when not convenient. Genuine concern and mindfulness for how they treat you. I've had friends for over a decade who will only use me to this day. But when someone goes out of their way to show concern, it melts my heart. Certainly when you get older, it doesn't matter if you don't always see each other or how often you communicate but when you next meet up, everything is as good, relaxed and enjoyable as it's always been. My husband of 12 years will ask if I would like some ice cream. And when I decline and he serves himself some he comes back to the couch and hands me his bowl to take the first few mouthfuls. I don't know why but it makes me feel so loved. He really is my best friend. One who sticks with you even when they know you've done wrong but can put their pride aside to forgive you. One who calls and checks up on you often when they can. They check up on you and they actually give a fuck about you. A guy who will go to a prostitute, get two blowjobs, and then give you one. They are there for you when you need them and they know you will be there for them when they need you. They tell you that you have a booger in your nose. They will have yo back no matter what. You can be as frequent or sparse in communication with them. But when you need them they are always there and vice versa. One that is comfortable without having to talk daily and reaches out to check in on you when they haven't heard from you in a bit. It's me. I'm that friend that goes into hermit modes and don't want to talk to people. Those that actually call or text are ones you keep. And the ones that are just there for you without pressuring you into stuff. Four legs and a tail. Deleted. A real friend marries your wife's ugly sister so you can be friends forever. When they don't try to slyly catch the eye of your husband, boyfriend. What you need to do is talk to they mama dem behind they back. Figure out stuffs and try to change they mind about everything. Then you be like my sister needs a husband. Then you finna be best friends and things like that. Bitch. They give you back scratches. A friend will bail you out of prison. A good friend will be in there with you. They stick with you no matter how dark of a place you're in. They check up on you. They make time to spend with or talk to you. When they wish you happy birthday at 6.30 in the morning. Similarities in thinking. When they put your needs above theirs. You can tell a lot about a person by how they treat you when you're sick. Tell you the truth no matter what but will also defend you no matter what. One of my closest friends I've known for more than 10 years now and we weren't always close or spoke the entire time. We reconnected a year ago and she's been there for me and proved herself many times over. I lived in another country these past few years so when I visit home she always made time for me. Last time I was home. I suddenly felt really unwell. I started feeling cold chills and shivering. I had three blankets and four cats on top of me. I had fuzzy socks on. I made burning hot tea. My lips and fingers were blue. I had no blood left in my face and my temperature was nearing 39 degrees Celsius. I was scared. I thought I'd die. I had no medications at home. Not even simple ones. It was 2 a.m. I texted her and she said she'll come bring me some medications. She was at work. She left 1H early and rushed to me on a taxi across the city. The medication she gave me worked fast and I felt better. But I realize what could have happened had my internal organ temperature not gone down. There's honestly nobody I'd have re-confidence to call in a time of need. Except my family. As I'm lucky to have them. Likewise she can rely on me for anything. Gemini. Or one of those big yellow diamond signs that says, Bump. When you or someone you love is sick. And I mean life-changingly. Or ending. Sick.
There's a phenomenon where people in your life just disappear. They're gone when you need them the most. There's even been studies on it. A friend who sticks with you through that. For better or worse. That's a good person. I saw my friend group whittle down when my grandma got cancer. And then died from it. It got even smaller when my grandpa got it two years later. And died from it. My wife now has cancer. And is kicking its ass. It got incredibly small. Don't know what I would do without my best friend. She's amazing. Helping you bury the body instead of turning you in. They talk so much shit abd how your crush looks. My best friend dropped everything a year ago and came from London to California to give me support. When my son was put under house arrest during that time my near 15 year relationship fell apart. For a while. My terror of the police. My partner's anger. My son who took his distress out on me and the fact that I had to go to work every day on a movie. Nearly destroyed me. But she was there. She cried with me. She laughed with me. She drank with me. She salved the huge wounds between me and my partner. She soothed my son. She hugged my daughter and she was a hugely significant part that got us all through it. She is officiating at the commitment ceremony that my partner and I are having this summer. She is as Ralph Waldo Emerson said of old friends. A masterpiece of nature.